In humans, Marvel's Black Sheep. While over the years they fade into obscurity, they're still one of my favorite comic series. If you're interested in reading the Inhumans, these are my favorite stories that are essential in understanding the world of the Inhumans. Now, the Inhumans are a group of superhumans that are experimented on by the Kree. And they live in isolation away from any human encounters, because knowing humans, they do not like anything that's stronger, different, <laughs> like any kind of difference from humans. They're just gonna hate you and pick it outside where you live and like, <laughs> and like throw bricks through your windows. Now, starting off, with my favorite Inhumans comics, the one that's right next to me, we have Inhumans Volume 2, Issue 1 from 1998. This was written by Paul Jenkins and art by Jay Lee. Now this is the perfect issue to start your Inhuman journey, because Jenkins does a really good job of throwing you into an Inhumans conflict right off the bat. You don't need to know any prior knowledge about the Inhumans, because he sets it up so perfectly. You're introduced to the Inhuman royal family, including Maximus, who is the villain of this story, who's always trying to meddle into the royal family's uh, perfect society, and he always wants chaos. So it creates a very good dynamic between those characters. Now what makes this story essential is how Jenkins sets up the world, and with this conflict through this arc, defines who the Inhumans are from this issue all the way up to present day. Now the next issue that I want to talk about is Inhumans Volume 4, Issue 1, from 2003. Now this was written by Sean Keely McKeever and art by Matthew Clark and Nelson DeCastro. Volume 4 is one of my favorite Inhumans runs because it really dives into the people, the society of the Inhumans. Because everyone loves the Fantastic Four, the Avengers, the X-Men, because those are the main guys. But Volume 4 actually dives into the people of the society. And what happens is you basically have a uh, inhuman human exchange program where it's important for the inhumans to learn about the humans and actually get to know one another so they can kind of coexist and kind of recognize each other's existence without violence <laughs> characters in these stories are all teenagers so you get a new perspective instead of the the usual uh, royal family where they're all adults and they're all very responsible, very stoic, very, I have all my stuff together. So it's a great read because you see real inhuman human problems. And it's a perfect starting point from the previous story by Jenkins, this one right here. So one of my favorite uh, stories for the Inhumans. The next issue is actually two issues because in 2016, Charles Soule and Jeff Lemire actually created two stories in tandem with each other, with Death of X and Inhumans vs. X-Men. Now these two stories really show how the world views the Inhumans because of this new issue that arises with the Terrigen Mist that is so essential to how the Inhumans get their abilities. But we find out that the Terrigen Mist that they use is actually harmful for X-Men, poisonous to even the point of death. These two stories are so impactful because you're putting two societies on a scale. You're basically reading who is more important in this scenario, the extending of new and human children or the safety of X-Men who already through scrutiny from humans are getting murdered, getting like violence in the streets and everything like, from all the humans who hate mutants. It's a very heavy story when you actually think about uh, the effects of these two minority groups and showing the dynamic between the Inhumans and the Marvel Universe is very important to the history of the Inhumans. Now, this final one is one of my favorite Inhuman stories, written by the man himself, Donny Cates, and art by Ariel Olivetti. This one is The Death of the Inhumans that came out in 2018. What makes this issue so great is you get one of Marvel's best writers, Donny Cates, uh, holding the reins of one of Marvel's more obscure groups. And he does a really good job of guiding the story of the Inhumans' sudden end. This really culminates everything that came before it with the new twists of an inhuman hunting machine 
It's killing off all of the society's people. Now, these five stories are absolutely essential to understanding the obscure world of the Inhumans. Be kind to each other. See you in the next one.